Yeah, no, I was thinking aquamarine. No. Yeah, I think we bypassed yeah, that we Oh, oh, oh yeah, there we go. So I found something that you don't have. It was <laughs> a box so of good. cobwebs. That's for the moment of humour and joy you yeah. give them, isn't it? And that's all they want. That's all they yeah, want. I, I agree everything. with you. I agree with you 100%. Mm. Darling, mm -hmm. I know this is a big task for you. Mm -hmm. Because when I said, can you come and film with me our favourite gifts we brought to each other? Mm -hmm. And then I got a call from you saying... I'm sitting on your sofa, Trini. I just wonder how long you're going to be, and I guess it's only got the wrong week. Can you believe that? So oh. I came up last week and came here perfectly on time, and I got the with all day. the things, everything you yeah. need. I mean, it was like you were so fit. you'd never been that efficient. I know. When we worked anyway, I just got slapped in the face for being organised. But anyway, yeah. here I'm are. here now. All right. I'm so, very happy. So this is like to me a trip down memory lane because yeah. through things. And can I just say also, Susanna wrote an amazing book on gifting. Is it still in publication? I don't think it is. I think it's been pulped. And is it just what I've always wanted? Just what I always wanted. The perfect. The perfect gift giving guide. Gift giving guide. That was all it. about, they were all into categories. So you had the power person. The... People pleaser or enabler or yeah, something. People pleaser. Yeah, people pleaser. It's like somebody who, they it's sort of have everything and it's difficult to give them something, wasn't it? There was yeah. definitely that person. Affiliation who... was yeah. the one who's the people pleaser. And then there was like the power and then there was someone, you know, the upwardly mobile, but I can't remember yeah. what they called them. And it really was. It, it was so, it was so right for person so for example a power person is someone who's like an alpha yeah and you need to give them something which is going to make them even more in control of their environment so let's say i know this is a really crap idea yeah but know, just tell us anyway, but let's say not... a corkscrew so something that's useful to them and a power person generally don't like being given gifts they don't like yeah. it they'd much rather yeah. give yeah and then we the affiliate affiliation person is all they care about is how you wrapped it if it's beautifully wrapped that's good enough because it shows you love them so you could be a tiffany box with yeah. a with a piece of story with like. cobweb i gave actually a friend of mine who's got everything and i bought him um a really lovely box with cobwebs in it just mm -hmm. saying this is something you don't have <laughs> I found something that you don't have in a box so of good. cobwebs yeah. because it's for the that's for the moment of humour and joy you yeah. give them isn't it and that's all they want that's all they yeah, want I, I, got agree everything. With you. I agree with you 100 mm. there are also the worst presents you've been given which i don't think that you have been given by me no but you I, always gave yeah. good presents but, but let, why don't you tell everyone about the worst present that you were that given. my beloved husband yeah. gave me. i mean this was before then you said trin you have to take he has to go with you for christmas shopping yeah. but this was a present where i think you had just had your first baby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, six weeks, two months after, yeah, maybe. It, yeah, Esme, and, oh, was it after Esme, March, yes, after Esme. And then my birthday's in June. June. Yeah. So, you know, you're feeling everyone who's had a baby. So, Steen went and bought her a pair of scales. Weighing scales. Weighing scales for the body. Because he yeah. went to the high street in Battersea because he hadn't got anything. And he thought, yeah. okay, what's open? The only thing that was open was a chemist. Yeah. He found something that was kind of a little bit expensive and it was weighing scales. Yeah, and that was my present. And it's classic Steen. And then the next year I made Steen extend the budget by like- Tenfold. Ten I mean, the things we bought two things, he went, that's great. And I went, darling, that's just a stocking. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, what? <laughs> what? This is okay, but this is somebody. Let's just let's just uh, tish of a husband. No, but this is, is somebody. Can we just reveal mm. some things? Yeah. All right. So when Susanna and I were aboard and we travelled a lot, um, Susanna would always say, "Oh, Trini, can I just borrow your phone? Just need to call the kids." Calling, calling. Twenty minutes later, and I was like, "Cool," because I didn't really care. And it just it happened a lot. Never seemed to pick up her phone. And I said, "Susanna, what? Just tell me why you have to always use my phone." She said, "Well, look, Steen doesn't allow me to call England when I'm abroad." <laughs> I don't remember that. Yes, and you always use my phone. Oh, my so, God. And then also, the other thing was, whenever Susanna found something she wanted to buy, and we were both earning really good money, I keep saying that because it's not like it was like we couldn't do it. Mm. So she'd, you know, we'd be in Prada and say, you know, will you pay for it, Trini, and I'll just pay you secretly through something else because she didn't want it going through her account. So Steen would see it. Yeah, so Ebenezer. Yeah. We had to keep Ebenezer. Every, everything yeah. hidden from Ebenezer. Yeah. And everything came from Gap, it whether was so, it was Prada I mean, oh, or yeah, Snap it was, or, yeah. or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> but we were more, we splashed out more with each other. There was no hiding. Never. Anything. And, and I was other. mesmer only because you hesitate about splashing out and I overspent in my life if we look at that. But sometimes you would really go in the deep end and there were moments like the first one I want to bring up is when we're in India filming and we have a day off. We, we have this mad filming in India. It was a lot of things 
went down in India, but what happened in India stays in India. And we have this day off and we're in Khan Market and we're looking around and there's these beautiful jewelry shops. And I, um, do I buy you a gift first or you, I can't remember how it happened. No, because it was your birthday out there. It was my so birthday. So you didn't buy me yes. anything yes. out there, which was fine. But yeah. it was actually, we were there for your birthday. That's right. So, yeah. so it wasn't like I gave you something, you gave no. me something. It was for your birthday. Yeah. It was quite a, I think it was like your 65th. Something like that? Yeah, thanks, Yeah, thanks, Yeah. So um, I go in the shop and I see this beautiful pair of earrings and I look at the back. I was thinking I'll buy them, whatever. And I looked about and I thought, no, I won't buy them. And then you bought them, mm. which are, yeah. And, and they are, do you still wear them? Yeah, I wear them all the time. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're like divine. amethyst and gold. And then I got but these. But they're actually emeralds and gold. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're green, though. Yeah, yeah but, uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I was thinking <laughs> aquamarine. No. I mean, they are yeah, they're divine. flipping gorgeous. Yeah. And then I bought these in the same place. You did? For myself. Yes. That was a splurge, didn't I know, you? it was, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't do be as, like, accessorised now yeah. for me. But um, yeah. I still have these. And you dealt, obviously told Steen they were for accessorised. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and then um, the best yeah. present you ever gave me, which is like a memory lane moment, is I obsessively did diaries. And I always had little different ones that I got each year. And for my 40th birthday, which was also Lila's christening in Venice, Susanna gave me these diaries that she'd had made for 10 years worth of writing. And so this is, this is 2010. I don't know if that's the first year. Did you give them to me in 2010 first? No, because Lila was christened. No, it was before then. 2005. Let me just see if I and can I find. I love the fact that they're all filled. I wouldn't have done that. You are amazing. When just picking up 2000 and I can't read it. Anyway, but there's one where I start and it's like Lila's, look, Lila there. Oh my God. Finally got the diary out again and then it just, oh, oh no, that was when we trip went, this is a trip we went together in the Maldives. In the Maldives. So, uh, so do I have any pictures of you? Probably not. Yeah. Or oh, was this when I went with Lila without you? No, I'm sure that's because yeah. I reckon, oh, maybe oh, it was. No, know. yeah, but I think that's sort of, yeah, I think we bypassed yeah, that we oh, oh, no! oh yeah, there we go. So this is Sydney when we went to Australia for the first time together. And um, we had these, inc I mean, we had, when I went this time, everyone said there's so many people here. And I was like, there are, but my God, when Suzanne and I came, there were like 5,000 people. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And we had such amazing things happen because when we went to New Zealand, which I promise we'll go back to, um, we arrived. And do you remember there were the Maori? Um, yes, they did that yes. dance at the airport for us. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. It, I we know, had we've had an amazing time. time. So then also, this is who do I want to be today? This is our book number eight. And then there's Susanna and I and our curlers. And when you die, will you leave those to me? Will I leave them to you? Yeah. Will you put them in your oh, will for me? I could do. But oh, no, but Lila will probably want them. No, but I'm just thinking. And then this is all the things we did from the book. And there's my niece. So that's all. So and there's any work we did, I've got in there. But there are, um, oh my God, that's me looking rather. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look. Yeah, very, I won't very... show that one. Um, but I just want to see if there's any more of our work, because I did have lots of our work. This ad. Oh, oh my God. We were doing, oh, this is a whole, that whole trip. This is New York filming. Do you remember we filmed the US pilot? Yes. And that's our US pilot cover there. We filmed that. Then that's when John Barrett gave that party for us at his house. He's now dead. Oh, mm. so. Very so, amazing. So that memories. was good. So many wasn't memories. It? I'm in so many memories here. I just want to look all of I them. I think with I have you. to come over another time. Yeah. Let me just see if I have things. I want to see if I have things in you like, God, Susanna's really pissing me off. I wish you'd stop leaving me alone. Um, oh to deer God. up at six, helicopter up the coast of Newcastle for our first AM show, then helicopter to a Sydney suburb for our second. I have to say the crowds have been fantastic. A few thousand at each event. We certainly feel loved in Australia. Um, mm. Yeah, just like fantastic. Oh, I do love looking at these. Yeah, let's do it together another time. It's like, yeah. when you can't see it. It's a bit kind of thing. We can get carried away. Okay, so, next gift. Okay, I want to show. So this you gave me. And I don't know where you got it from. You gave it to me for Christmas and it is aquamarine. Yes, yes. With little amethysts and gold and all these little gems here. And I never wear it because I don't wear necklaces. Yeah. But I have it hanging on my dressing table mirror. Yeah. And every time I look at it, I think of you. Oh, darling. I love it so much. 
But you never wear it. I never wear it because, because my you, boobs are too and big. And you never wear it short. No, no because my, get, neck's yeah. too sh my neck's too... Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, I know but it's very nice. Sometimes when things are pretty, and that's also how I saw it first, it's yeah. hanging and thinking how pretty it was. So you probably wear it the best way. But I love it so much. It's such a treasure. And that's oh. why I was able to find it so easily because it was on my... my um, my mantelpiece, and that was a, uh, we weren't traveling, that was a Christmas present yeah, you gave me. Yeah. And then the best for my 40th, 50th, 50th birthday. 50th, I think 50th, yeah. These suitcases, Ramoa, yeah. which are the best suitcases, and they are, so this is the baby suitcase, but I've also got the mother and the father that you gave me. And unfortunately, on oh this God, side. I gave you a set, didn't you? I gave you the, the whole set. set. That was actually I know, I remember how much they were, yeah. They, um, they last forever, yeah. and unfortunately this one was bastardised from when yeah. I was doing that show called Strictly. I did ask you, why is Susanna written on Because Why is Susanna written Because they, it was like we were moving around or something, and they stuck this label on and they ruined it. Yeah. And that is like, it's kind of ruined the suitcase for but me, you because could, it was such a traumatic could, time, and I have... PTSD every time I look at it. Do you have PTSD? It. Yeah, I'm doing Strictly. The most you? terrifying thing I've it ever was. done. It was. Terrifying. Horrendous. I thought I was really good. Yeah. I came back home after like the first few days of training with Anton and I, Steam was like, how, how did it go? And I went, you know what? I think I found something I'm really good at. And mm. then a week later, he said, how, you know, how's it going? I said, I, I actually think we could win. Wind the movie forward a few a few days to yeah. the first, the opening dance. And if you look up Anton on Wikipedia, yeah. the lowest score Anton de Beck ever got in a salsa was with partner Susanna Constantine. The lowest score Anton de Beck has ever got across a series was with Susanna Constantine. <laughs> and I had like this sort of filthy stain on his biography. And it was, I mean, imagine humiliate, it's bad enough to humiliate yourself by dancing like a sort of, the love child of a gorilla and an ironing board but to do it in front of 17 million people which is yeah that's more than it must be more than the population of scandinavia put together it, it, watching yes, you yes it is but i got to say that i remember when you did do the rehearsals and you called yeah and you were constantly. like constantly yeah you were like i i think i done really and i really believed it so you know? did i i mean i do know you have two left feet yeah. so i was like but the way you spoke about it, I knew in your heart, you thought, my God, yeah. it's incredible. This man has helped me realise I can dance. It's like when you get a singer and you suddenly think you could, it was it's like, like me thinking miracle. I could sing. And then I found out, and I, when I, I realised things weren't great, and Stacey Dooley, because she, she became a really good friend. And, and she was also she dancing it, And she time. was doing yeah. it. And I said, Stacey, you know, hi. It's like, oh, I'm exhausted. You know, we're, we're um, rehearsing like three or four hours every day. I said, what about you? She said, we're doing between 12 and 14. And that's when I realised. Maybe So Anton just, he took, he said to me afterwards, he said, I can tell if someone c can dance or not as soon as they walk through the mm -hmm. door. And as soon as you walk through the door, I knew I didn't have a fucking hope in hell. So we just did a little bit of poncing around and then had tea and lunch. And I went to Wentworth Golf Club with him. <laughs> And, th and that's what we did for the whole series. And then, of course, I was out first. The thing is, you see, I think this whole attitude of yours, which is that sense of, we've done for us, we're brilliant, yeah. in some ways has been the worst fucking thing, in other ways, good thing. So another one where it was amusing with us is we were going to meetings where we had, like, we'd be in L.A. and we'd be, you know, at a meeting and they'll be saying, we want to do this TV show with you and whatever. And, blah, blah. America, and then, no Sus quality, yeah, no. yeah. but Susanna would come out of the meeting and go, that's so great, it's done, you know, that's yeah. lovely. And I was like, Th that's nothing yet. That's yeah. nothing. And you're like, no, they, you know, because you are, which is very trusting of you and everything, but that's a face valueness of taking it as is that moment. Do you know what it's called? Tell me. That is known as toxic positivity. Is it really? Yeah, it's about someone who's so fucking annoyingly positive the whole time because they're too scared to be negative. So it's a kind of form of protection, but it's actually not a great thing. And so that that was me. It's like glass, not just half full, but bringing out, brimming over. And that's annoying for a lot of people. Okay. So on that, on that moment, our favorite word that we give each other, and we both gave each other this in different years. So I- and You gave me a mug. I gave you a mug. Which I love. Which was from DJ Fat Tony. 
That was an outlandish, outlandish creation. Outlandish creations. Yeah. And you, you gave me Bella Freud's version, which is our favourite word to each other. It's our nickname. And whenever we call each other, I go, oh, we use it a lot. We use it a lot. She's such a, you know, it can be derogatory in, in one second. and But it's more a term of endearment. Oh, yes. And you've got to really, truly love someone to be able to say it. And they know it's not offensive. Yeah. So it's a, a mutual trusting friendship mm. to be able to use that word. Different that countries. Word. Australia, and I told you this, I'm on a chat show in the evening and oh they ask goodness, me. Yes. So this man says to me, um, you know, do you and Suzanne still see each other? And I said, yeah, we do. And he goes, I actually saw him again this year. And he goes, um, oh, you know, how well do you get on? I said, really well. And he said, do you have nicknames for each other? And I said, yeah, I do. I said, it's a really rude name. I can't really say it. And he said, well, okay, I'll, I'll spell it out. It's and then always you say at the end the words yeah. and people bring it together. So I forgot. And then literally on the cover of the Sunday Morning Herald the next day was the word that's been said on Australian television. <laughs> it was that really is so, I'm so proud of you. And then I was with him again on radio this year. So we're recounting the story. And I think we're still on preview. <laughs> But we're not. We're, we're on live. Oh, my God. And I gosh. say it again. And luckily, there's a three-second yeah. delay. delay. So they killed it. And they said, if you say that again, it kills the show. So please don't say it again. Because I've done the kill switch once already. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like having lifelines, isn't it? And you've kind of used all yours up. Yeah. I think. <laughs> it's strange. Thank you very much. Darling. But, Angel, the other yeah. thing I got here, yeah. which are well oh used, which are these... <laughs> no, but that's because you gave me these for my 40th. Yeah. So they are 23 years old. That's amazing. And I wear them all the time, Spanish riding boots. Yeah. And I wear them walking out. I had given them a little clean, actually, yeah. if you can believe it. But they're so well worn and so well loved. And must be so comfortable now. And they are so comfortable. Yeah. They're like molded to my feet. You can see yeah. my, even my wrinkles around my ankles are yeah. shown here. It's the and kind I love of, them it's so the kind much. Of riding boot. Do you remember in Chili Cooper's Riders, there was a man who wanted to play Go Riding and his boots were too new? Do you remember oh, yes, that and they scene? squeaked. And they squeaked, and that, and it was that very snobby thing of, oh, you're new to this. But you, mm. it's like to be the instant expert anywhere. Um, I'm so staggered. I remember I got these in Spain for you. Yeah, I know. Michael had just bought a house in Spain, and they had this proper yeah. Spanish um, riding boots. They're so beautiful, and they, you know, cause often, because I've got racehorse ankles. You do, um, still. They actually fit. Yeah. yeah, everything else. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, no. The, the racehorse ankles, ankles will just, never okay. disappear. But I want to hear more about your gifting. So the first I've got nothing. You have. You've got... I've got nothing for you've you. You've got the gift of the nighttime icons, which is on your face now, which Kellyanne did upstairs. Okay. Yeah, okay. but I haven't got a present for you. Oh, but that's all right. Yeah. Because that happens sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but I know you're... Do a present later. Yeah. Anyway, it's not Christmas yet. No, it's yeah. not Christmas yet. Exactly. You've got lots of time. I've sort of, mm. you know, I'm bedding in now. I'm bedding mm. in. But what I also thought is I'll give you some gifts that you can give to your friends. Amazing. You know, you want instant stuff. So we've got a few options here that you can give your friends. Oh, so Sorry. you've done an actual gift box. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, yeah, this is a gift box. So this is called, and you've got to think who they're for. And I think it's quite funny because some of the names you could think of funny things. And I know you'll be good at thinking of funny names. So um, if, let's say, so the plump it up routine. Now you might have somebody who's just done a lot of plastic surgery recently and they got big lips and you just okay. go, you know, to go with your new lips. Well, you know what Here I mean? Here you so. are, Tony. <laughs> you, yeah. I, I knew you'd say that. All right. And that's got in it all the, you know, the pale pink one. Yes. The plump it up. So it's I, the whole routine. Okay, that's, that's for yeah. me. And the vitamin C. It's got Thank everything you. you love because you just that's stole the vitamin me. C I've just upstairs. That's upstairs. Okay. That's for um, me. Thank you very much. All right. Much. The other one is superhero serums. This is every <gasps> serum you have. So it's overnight sensation, overnight clarity. Stocking fillers for the kids. You could want to yeah. each, you know, and then and then also plump up again. Fantastic. Okay. Because yeah. I was kind of thinking about how you would do them. Yeah. And, well, how are you going to get it right for all the people, to, different for, people, so that all yeah. sizes fit everyone? But that is the way to go. Well, this is like for people. I mean, like, do we love this little bag? This is my favorite thing in the entire world. I've got about twenty of them. You do, but yeah. have you got them this size? Because this is yes. new. Well, I've got. This is new. You've got the bigger version. Yeah. And then this is the small version okay. with silver here. It's subtle differences, but they so make pretty. a big difference. And I've got all your square ones yeah. too with the zips. Uh, oh, this one. No, they're not gonna, they're literally all presents to me. So no, they're not presents to you, because I no, might give it back. But Susanna, you can't, you've got to think them. of inspiring people. Okay, it. I think that's for my mother-in-law, who's yes, 18. Yes, that's actually very good. She would love that. Adore it. She's quite, not vain, but she's very no, much she, after herself. And she cares, she cares yeah. about how she looks, and she yeah. hates the fact that she's ageing, and she's still an incredibly elegant woman. And so that will be so perfect that's for her. So perfect. The last one is bouncy 
skin to you. So do you have any nephews or nieces who had babies? I always think it's a real nice one. You've had a baby, bouncy yes. baby, bouncy oh skin. Oh my God. Your niece. And she, your, well, yes. she's my niece and my niece-in-law. Yeah. And she um, was asking me about this at the weekend. She said, you know, what do you think of Trinity's skin? Oh, this is I the said, it's unbelievable. She said, I really want to get some. Okay. So that's it. So this her. one, so this one her, baby. you need to tell her, you need to like make it a big present. So you need to yeah. tell her what it's going to do. So you can say, this one, I use all the time, it's a Which plump I do. Yeah. and it makes your skin plump. Yeah. And when you've had a baby, they take all your vitamins and supplements from your body, so you feel very depleted. Yeah. And then it follows up with Bounce Back. These which are my is, two favourite favorite okay. products. Oh, oh, product. oh you, no, you, and the, and the um, what's the vitamin C one called? Two stuff. But I feel you're, you're, you're wanting these for yourself. I'm just feeling you're sort of thinking, will they actually go to these people in No, they life? will, because the packaging is beautiful. And your stuff is you know what a skeptic i am i know and genuinely it makes a difference and i am a difference and what i do I remember you told me this years yeah. and years and years ago always you put your moisturizer on and you go like that on your hands so you get the bit. residue yeah. Yeah. on your hands and i put it on my hands and i ah oh, it is your hands um, used to be so scaly they were so no but they're not they're not as wrinkly yeah. i swear to god yeah. they're not as wrinkly yeah. it's um, re yeah. i really noticed the difference on yeah. my hands so they have, they're okay. benefiting from every single product on your range twice a day. Here we are, and it's Christmas now, but you haven't got a gift for me. No. Okay, fine. Uh, you haven't. But then, yeah. you know, yeah. there's gifts and gifts. Well, what's the other kind of gift, please? Well, the gift is something which is going to be very personal to you. Oh, you mean you've got something? No, I haven't got anything okay. here. Yeah. I mean, it is not, it's still a month away from Christmas. I know that. And we've been very good, I must say. Come Christmas, yeah. I always looked forward to your present more than anyone else's. Yeah. And always under the tree, and it was always the last one I opened. Yeah, I know, because you always didn't feel let down by it. Yeah. I did give you things knowing that there was an element. There's a few years when, and the thing is, if you read Susanna's first book, After the Snow, there's an opening scene, which I'm going to tell the story, but there's an opening scene, I think this has real relevance, to be serious for a second of the protagonist, which is Esme. Mm -hmm. And she's opening up her Christmas stocking. And it's an amazingly beautifully written scene. And she picks up and there's this lovely old china and said, oh my God, it looks so old. It's made to look old. It's like our china too. And then she kept, keeps going in and you think there's something weird about the stocking. And things are wrapped haphazardly and there's some stuff with sort of egg on it still. And she's still thinking, this is just weird. And, and then you as a reader have this dawning realization that in fact, her mother, who was an alcoholic, had just at three in the morning taken literally dirty dishes, wrapped them up and made a stocking for her daughter, which mm -hmm. I know had a slight reflection on your upbringing. Mm -hmm. And so, and I had this thing with my family too, of this sense of disappointment at Christmas. And mm -hmm. it, it's not that one is spoiled, it's just you think, how well did my parents know me? Or get yeah, and your father good. knew you well. Yeah. But it's just my mother would, always give me something which was so it made it just reinforced the fact she so doesn't know the person i am today well it's when something isn't personal isn't it yeah you know it's very easy to give a gift yeah. to someone but to give something which has relevance to your relationship with that person mm. is much harder and it takes time yeah. you know you have to spend time to think about yeah. it and i think we always gave each other gifts that we knew would make us feel that person knew me so well mm. You know, mm. like this was my most treasured dress I've ever been given. Yeah. Because it allowed me to create memories. Yeah. You know? I mean, that I have to say was inspired. It's genius. I love yeah. it. I know. It's